Hello again, welcome back to Minecraft! Alright, so I'm in the deep dark cave system that I decided to go to not long ago. Oh, what do I need? I don't want to take that with me. I'll dump that, dump that, keep that in case I need it. No, I don't need gravel, gravel's crap. Right, I do have a bow, so I might put the bow there so I can actually use it. I'll put the bow there so I can use it. Although I need a new one. I do need to get some more food, might be a good idea, so I might try and find my way back out. I don't actually know if this is the way out. Probably isn't. Is that because that's a dead end or because that's where I wanted to go? I'm not sure. Ah, oh, that's the dead end way. All right, okay. See, I thought that's why I put the blocks there, but I wasn't 100% sure. Right, so where else can I go? No, it's not that way. I would have thought it would be. See, that's the trouble. We don't play it for a day. It's like... You forget where you are when you don't play it for a couple of days, don't you? Well, I did not fairness play yesterday, but you know, it was counted. Right, this I think goes to the water that I found. Or does it? Or is this a way out? Oh no, that's... Alright, go up this way. Yeah, I can't remember anything of where I'm going and where I've been. Let's just lead to the water bit. No, that's on the other side. So I think this is a month the way out. No. Oh, for God's sake. There's just stuff everywhere down here. Oh, shoot. I hate those little guys. They hit you way too much and they're way too quick. No, I forgot that. I already quit. I also didn't. Ooh. I've not been here. Let's lead outside, I wonder. Or well, it's just random. So I'm not actually paying attention to where my little base was. I put all my stuff in. Hmm, I'm not sure we are. Is this actually outside? Screw you. This one I can film in it. God damn it! How many creepers am I gonna get in one place like? I 
Okay, if I go up, I'll find where I want to be. That's pretty much daytime. But I can find my way back, that's fine. Do, 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 do. I need to get some food anyway, so I'm going back this way. Do, do, do. Hello, I'm doing fine. How are you today? Sorry, I'm a bit slower messages because I was busy avoiding creepers and stuff. I'm assuming it's that way. I don't actually know which way I'm going. Maybe I should head up and figure it out a bit better because I'm not 100% sure where I am. I didn't check the coordinates of my new base. Oh, well, let's climb the snowy mountain then. Goat! So I have a feeling the base might be over this way a little bit more. Ooh, that could have been nasty, couldn't it? Da -da -da -da. Let's keep going. I'm hoping this is the right way. Yeah, I've got the right kind of trees. Yeah, this looks like it. This should be leading me home. Home on the range where the deer and the antelope play. Ah. Been in work all day and I finished work as um, probably in a different time zone and in the UK. So it's like, oh, I don't know what time. It's half past seven in the evening at the moment. So I've had a full day of work and stuff. And now I'm chilling. I've had food and I was chilling. Playing this. Right, that's what I want to put in the chest. I want to put that in. Oh, I've got some more of that. I've got some more of those. I'm getting lots of emeralds. Don't need those, but what the hell? This sounds good. Oh, I want more food from there, didn't I? Um, what we got? Maybe I should take the bread with me next time. Hmm. Maybe. Ah, we're about so oh, yeah. Come, come. Let's cook the chicken. I've got loads of food. Oh, I need to eat. Doom. Woof woof. Uh, what have I got in this chest? I'll move those out. Yeah, <laughs> probably good. Ah, uh, California. Never been to California. I've lived in upstate New York for a while and in Canada, but I've never been to California. Not yet, anyway. Maybe one day. One of many places I'd like to visit, but... Hi, money, all the usual problems get in the way, don't they? So, I haven't had the opportunity so far. <laughs> Plus, California tends to be hot. I like the cold. I'm not, not a big fan of heat. Don't do well with the heat. I do much better in cold. So when it's cold, you can like wrap it warm, have a hot drink, put the fire on. And I like fireplaces and like real fires and stuff. So that's my kind of thing. When it gets hot, you kind of can't do anything, can you? Well, if you've got air con, it's fine because you can put that on. But other than that, it's just uncomfortable hot. And the sun's too bright. It's not like bright. Yeah, I'm classic gamer. Likes to sit at home in the dark and play video games. So, you know, what can I say? It's been my life. Ooh, ski destination. Now that sounds more like my kind of thing. Definitely more 
into the ski and then the beach. Can't stand the beach. Anakin Skywalker like that. It's just sand. Don't like the sand. Right. No, I'm not going to kill an armadillo. I don't know what's on midday. Why are there so many armadillos? And llamas. Right. Calm down. I'm not touching you. Well, what I might do is get some more melon. Since it's growing anyway. Alright. I also want to get rid of. Right, I'm gonna dump those already. Am I cooking those already? I'm gonna get some of those. Here, Robert. So look, if I'm cooking some, I'll add some more. Oh, we already cooked. Excellent. Right, I'm not gonna take all of this food with me. I'm gonna take some of it, but I'll leave some here. So I'm gonna leave the chicken. The ends uh, mutton and take the beef and the one piece of pork I've got and some melons. Some of that melon, I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, cool. Sounds like a good kind of place to be. Not too close to all the mental stuff. But out of the way, that's the best way. It's kind of like where I am. I'm in Wales, which is kind of middle of nowhere, a lot of it. But I'm not near a big city, just a sort of couple of local towns. I'm close to like Cardiff, which is obviously our capital city. Which is, you know, has all the big city stuff, but... I'm kind of more, I don't say in the valleys, but that kind of thing. Yeah, here it tends to be cold, cold, wet, cold, and then a little bit more wet. That's the weather in Wales. It tends to be very wet here. Lots of hills and mountains. We don't often get snow. It does get cold. It's like the other morning, I got up for work and it was... Minus five degrees centigrade. I have no idea what that is in Fahrenheit because we use Celsius here. So, yeah, it was minus five. And there was ice on my windscreen, on my car, on the windshield, as you guys would say. Yeah, so that was a little bit um, alarming, to be honest, because it's only September, so I shouldn't be scraping ice off my car, really. Yeah. Well, I was in Canada for a while and said upstate New York, and that gets pretty cold, you know, six foot of snow overnight, that kind of thing. Yeah, it was good. I've actually lived both sides of Lake Ontario. So I've lived the American side and the Canadian side because I was in Ontario. Well, not, not in the big cities like Toronto, though. I was out in the sticks. Kitchener and Waterloo. Lovely place. Not far from, it was like a two hour journey to go to. Niagara Falls or a two hour journey to go to Toronto. So it's nice and central. It's quite nice. Quite liked it there. It's a really nice place. I like Canada. I liked America as well. Although I worked at McDonald's next to a speedway and it turned me into a vegetarian for 15 years. So, you know, what can you say? I, I'm, I've fully recovered and I eat meat again and I do go to McDonald's occasionally. So, no, all good. All's out well that ends well and all that. Well, I've not been to either of those places. I've been to quite a few places because I lived in Ohio for a while as well. Not far from Columbus, so I've kind of gone everywhere between Ohio and New York. So Washington, lots of stuff in between. So I've done kind of around and about and spent 11 hours on a Greyhound. So yeah, I've done that. Lived the American dream. That was fun. But this was before we had, like, mobile phones and internet. Well, we had internet, but not mobile internet. So there wasn't much to do but read normal books. Which is kind of strange when you think back to those times. Back in the mid-90s, yeah. I'm that old that I travelled to America in the mid-90s. Mm. Well, I want to head back really like, what do i have on me i got lots of stuff i'm gonna put the wall away i don't need that 
Yeah, that's the thing. It's, America's such a big place. If you go in somewhere far, you kind of don't get a chance to stop off in between, do you? You just kind of travel and travel and travel. And you don't see all the in-between bits. I suppose it's the same year. If you go on a train to like London, you don't tend to stop off in places on the way. There's a lot, of, you know, there's a lot of nice places on the way. A lot of scenery and all that. But you just never get a chance to stop off, do you? 18 emeralds. Ooh, drum packs. There's only dirt. That'll be good. Yes, America is crazy, crazy big. I'll go back at some point and do more of it. So I've only done bits and pieces, so it'd be nice to do a little bit more. Right. Let's get this show on the road. I'd I'd love to do I you know a train trip across America. Well, obviously, I'd love to get an RV and travel across, you know, go right the way across Route 66 and all that stuff. But, you know, it's a lot more difficult. Is this a bad idea? No, this is a bad idea. I should sleep first. Yeah. That's the thing. In this country, people worry so much about distance. Like, oh my God, you have to drive an hour somewhere that's so long. It's like, a kid like Canada, America, you drive an hour. That's just go to the shops. But here, that's like a day trip. It's it's crazy the size difference when things are so close. You just don't travel as far. <laughs> yeah, I've always liked the big RVs. Yeah, exactly. I don't. I could walk to the shops, and I have. It's a nice little town. There's all the like the major supermarkets that we have here are all close so it's quite easy here because i don't have to go far if i want to go to cardiff cardiff's only like half an hour and that's a major city so i've got kind of everything i need locally so i'd never leave the area to be honest not very often anyway unless i want something sometimes you just want to go to like the theater or something like that go see a show then it's generally going to Cardiff, or obviously London, the bigger ones. Yeah, it's bigger shops and stuff in there. It's like, if I go into Cardiff and go to Costco, that's obviously much cheaper. Oh, Costco hot dogs and pizza, I love Costco pizza. Pepperoni pizza is just so greasy and disgusting, and oh my god, do I love that. I just love the hot dogs. Yeah, it was quite lucky where I am because I've got, what, four or five different types of supermarkets here. So I can kind of swap and change and get things in different ones. Because obviously different ones have different prices and different things available. So it's quite easy to do that for me, which is quite good. Right. It's where I want to go. Oh, I love bowling. Oh, we've got... I've got... Uh, a cinema near me it's not very good so you can watch movies there but it's kind of crappy seating so i tend to go to another local town which is about 20 minute drive and that movie theater they've got like the big reclining seats and all that so you get like your own little table for your popcorn and your drink and it's electric reclining leather seats and it's really cheap as well you're talking like what seven dollars a ticket so that's brilliant. I take my own snacks. I don't have popcorn there. God, no. It's too expensive. So I take my own snacks and drinks. So it's nice and cheap. Go to like the dollar store and pick up like cheap popcorn and Pepsi and stuff. And do that. So much better. Did that the other week and went to see Alien Romulus because I'm a big Alien fan. And that wasn't bad. Apart from they messed up the, the visuals a bit. The projectionists, I don't think, knew what they were doing. And it was all kind of messed up and didn't look right so i complained they got my money back so you know wasn't all bad it was still watchable but they had this weird blue sheen over the lens i think they cleaned it but not wiped it off properly so whenever it went really dark everything was just like a shade of blue so you couldn't see things in the dark dreadful yeah the one local to me is a lot cheaper it's kind of like an old style movie theater i guess it's kind of really old it's got like the curtains that draw back and all that's weird it's like a real kind of classic 
from years gone by type of place. But it's cheap and it's cheerful. I just don't enjoy it as much. I like the comfortable seats. I don't want people sitting too close to me, especially after COVID. Ah! Oh, I killed it. Hey! But when I go to the one in the place called Cumbran, which is the weird name, I guess, and there's a bowling alley next to it and some restaurants, so you kind of have a bit of everything there if you go into the cinema, so you can make a nice day out, which is quite good. So I don't mind doing that. It's quite nice. I love bowling. I have my own bowling ball, my own bowling shoes and all that nonsense, which is kind of normal in America, but over here it's not. You can't really find pro shops or anything. I've had my bowling ball probably about 20 years. Not a little bit longer. Oh. So I can go that way. Right, I'm going around in circles again, aren't I? Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's quite good. We tend to have... It's always the same. Like, if you've got certain cinemas, there'll always be a bowling alley next to it. And similar kind of restaurants and that sort of thing, which is... It's okay, but it's a bit annoying if you want something different. There isn't a lot of different things like that. It's all kind of samey, which is a bit annoying. It's usually far in the cinema and a bowling alley and a pub. Or like a bar and things like that. So it's there's not a lot of difference to it. It's kind of frustrating, to be honest. It's all the same. But at least, you know, you know, there's always somewhere you can go. So Cardiff has kind of a bit of everything. It has the more expensive shops and the bigger restaurants and the bigger movie theatre. There's like the 4D cinema and all that kind of thing as well. And several different movie theatres and several bowling alleys and golf and you know, mini golf. They do all of that kind of stuff there as well. So it's kind of nice that you can kind of go into the city and get all of that. Which, you know, is nice to do for more special occasions. And if you know, I want to go and see a show, because I'm actually going to see Rocky Horror Picture Show soon, which I'm looking forward to, because I love that. And I've never seen the live version. I've seen the movie, like, a million times. I know it, like, word for word, so it's kind of sad, I guess. But I've never managed to see it live. I like seeing shows and stuff like that, so I'm looking forward to that. Is that be good? And there's a new stage production of Dracula, which I really, really want to go to as well. It's good taking my son and my mum, which we tend to do stuff together. We went to go see Pink as well, which was quite good, because Pink, obviously on tour at the moment, and she was in Cardiff. So we went to go and see her. It was my son's first concert and my mum's first concert since ooh, the 80s, I expect, where she saw the Everly Brothers. But, you know, back in the day, she's seen, like, the Beach Boys and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, she's seen some classic bands back in the day. A couple of years ago, for my mum's birthday, because she's, I know that era of some of the best music ever, she's always been a fan of the Beatles. So, we went to Liverpool for, oh, I think it was a week. Or just, no, it might have just been a weekend first time. So, we did, like, all the like, Magical Mystery Tour and when all the, places that the Beatles recorded and all the different songs were about and that was really nice it was my son's first kind of exposure to the Beatles he heard the odd song but he didn't know much about them so it's kind of nice to have you know a couple of generations of us doing that oh have fun see you later yeah sword Bink. Right. where am I going now as well so it's for you i guess that's like something's drowning do, 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 do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, 
add down that looks like gravel. Like gravel. Gravel is awful. Du, 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 du. What are you doing there, matey boy? There's a few of them. Nice, right. I do want to go down there, but I want to be careful as well. I wonder what that is I just got. Something new. Get him. Come here then. Oh, I need to make sure I would go. Oh, I forgot it does that. Oh, that was lucky. So I don't forget where I'm going. Right, that should help me know my way back. Oh, it's dead end again. <sighs> Minus 945, wow. Do not know what's down this low. Should have brought another bed, shouldn't I? Really? I don't know if there's any point because I think what's down here. I was hoping I was going to find something, but I didn't. Kind of disappointed, to be honest. I really hope there'd be something here. Oh, 
I think I'm gonna go this way. Nope, nothing here. Oh, this is a boring place. I also might find like a big cavern or something. Well, I guess we'll go back. Let's go back up this way. Let's try this way. Oh, I need to eat. But this is where I went before, isn't it? I feel there should be something around these static tighty bits. Let them kill each other. You're dead. Weird noises up here. I wonder what it was. Again, I don't know if the noises are real or if it's just, you know, atmospheric. I'm feeling it's atmospheric. But let's have a look down here. What I should do is put some of these around. Let's have a look around a minute. Ah, this is more like it. Stuff up there. It's this way. I'm going to get horribly lost if I just run through this. Little zombie babies. It's up here. Oh, what's this? Oh, pick a cave. Keep finding these spaghetti caves. That's about it. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's a big noodle. Just noodles. It's my footsteps. Oh, that's me falling. Okay. Right. This is so dangerous. Lots of ores that I don't need. And nothing. Seriously, why can't I find like some kind of fortress or something? Very disconcerting and disheartening that I'm never finding anything.
could be an incredibly bad decision. This is going to be a bad decision. I can see it. I'm fed up with these kind of caves. Why can't I find like a big interesting cave? It's been ages since I found a good cave. I don't want to just dig mines everywhere. I want to find a cave. I know this is just stupid to do. Oh, that was lucky. But I want to find something interesting. Oh, shoot. Okay, I found something interesting. Interesting, but also... Where are we in? Let's see if I can go across there, shall I? Let's make my life easier, shall we? On the way around this, I'm leaving lots of wall if I'm going to explore the deep dark, 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 dark. So those things need wool. Yeah, because those things, they sense your presence. I'm not like Darth Vader at Christmas. You can hear your footsteps. Damn, there's creepers here as well. I really hope there's a way around there. Is there going to be a way across? Oh my god, this place is massive. Ooh. There's a lot of those here. Let's see how far I can go this way. I don't want to go too fast in case I accidentally hit the floor. Let's have a look. Alright, now I want to go this way. See, that sounds like there's something around me, but I don't trust the noises. Because I think they're fake. And they're not actually what you think there is. Hmm. 
this place is vast. See, there's noise of stop now. I didn't actually want to drop that. I want to go over there. All right, so I'm going to. And put some. Oh, there's that. All right. All right. Oh, I've got some more blocks there. Can I have some food? In fact, it's just up here. Mm -hmm. That doesn't look like a lot. All right, now I've got to be careful around here because of that stuff. And there's water over there with a squid. How many shots I got left? Yeah. Do you actually want to?
gets in way closer than they are. How does that down there? Oh, that's a creature. The hell is that? I do not know what that is. Like, at all. Doesn't look normal. Squiddies. Can't catch, carry any of these. Right, so. Let's put a couple of you get There's a witch and another witch. Shoot. Can I get it all? That's what I wanted. But there doesn't seem to be an act. Damn it! Kill my witch! Ah! Oh. Oh, I didn't sleep there, did I? 
<sighs> well, that's annoying. I, I'm never going to make it all the way back down there. God damn it. Do I have any animals left? Animals, I mean diamonds. Probably my other base, which I'll have to find. All right, I'm going to call it a night because I'm not going to be able to get back there. Not easily, not in the minutes that I have available to get there. Damn it. Should have gone away when I saw the goddamn stupid witches. I hate witches. Witches are the bane of my life in this game. I hate witches. <laughs> That's my house. Let's go do that. Have that. Have that. That. Those. My gas. Take some. Oh, please don't worry. Well, I might try it. I might risk it. I don't know if I'll be able to find my way back there because that was quite far, wasn't it? Looks like it was an interesting place. Take some more wool with me or something. If it wasn't for those witches, I would have been fine. Pesky witches. Let's see what I can do. Ooh. Whoa. Hmm. I wonder how far away that is from where I was. Let's go see what we can find. Right, let's go. I don't know any torches, do I? Well, I'm not going to place any torches. See, I really don't know if those noises are like fake noises or if there's actually something there. If I go the wrong way. Shoot, I did. Why didn't I mark that dead end? I don't know. Why didn't I? See, I have to have a shield now as well. Should have made a shield, shouldn't I? Then I need iron. Okay. Oh! I shouldn't have run that quickly. Should have been more careful. Much more, much more careful. Not the best weapon. Damn it. I almost died again. I didn't actually bring a sword. Should have made a sword.
I didn't even need a sword yet. I didn't put my armor on, did I? I didn't have any wood. Shoot. That wasn't well thought out, was it? Yeah, damn it. Oh, I didn't bring any wood. I didn't bring anything else. Oh, I'm going to die again, aren't I? I'm not even going to find where I was. Maybe I will. Oh no, this is the dead end of it, wasn't it? No, I went across here. To find this is the dead end, yeah. Okay, if I go, go back up, I figure out where the I'm going. I will not find him where I need to be. I'm just going to lose my life again. Jesus. Should have had a sword. Now I've got no weapons. I can hit people with a bow. Get a bit more weapons. This is serious. Oh shit, there's an enderman as well. I can't defeat the enderman without a sword. Go away, enderman! Not looking at you! I'm dead.
Yeah, I'm dead. God damn it, I'm leaving it there. <laughs> I have to rebuild all my stuff. God damn it. It's an awful place. Anyway, thanks for joining me and jumping in soon. Bye bye for now.